Today, we're doing Sakyo. Sakyo, again, Japanese term, I hope it's right. It's basically, you take the hand like this, and what you're doing is you're corkscrewing to the ceiling. Again, like the rest of the series, I'm just gonna quickly go over the structure and then I'm gonna show you how to apply. So, ideally when this happens, this hand comes like this, and I'm grabbing the hand, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a screw to the top. I want this to spin, and I want it to go up, like that. You always know when this works when they go up on their toes. If you see them go like this, you know it's on, it hurts. There are many variations of this, right? I can put it on my chest, I can prop it like this. There are times you go underneath it, right, to do this. Also, if you don't want it as a lock, you want it as a destruction, instead of trying to go slowly through it, what you do is you try to pop through it. What happens with him is he only doesn't get injured if I go slow enough where he can move with it. But if I go faster than his body can move, that's when things get ripped. So ideally, I'm trying to make sure that I have it in a structural position where I can come up and make that happen. Now, again, I never grab someone and go like this. It's silly, it doesn't work. A lot of times what happens is you end up with a hand, something comes in, you're here, you see it, and then it comes to here. Again, this is a structure. I see the structure, and whatever I have there, whether it's a finger, whether it's a wrist, whether it could be a wrist, it could go like that, it doesn't matter. Once I see that structure, I just twitch on it. So, again, if he's in this position, or that position, I don't want to try and make that happen. I only do it because it showed up. If he gives it to me, then I'm going to use it. If not, I'm not even going to bother with it. I'm going to go on to something else. So, how you practice on your own, just take your hand, go like this, twist it, and pick yourself up to the ceiling like that. And you'll see how you come up on your toes. It's a really nice lock. Don't force it. Don't try to use it when it's not appropriate. This is Bill Koenig for Street Circle Martial Arts. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.